After a quick intermission, I had to do some things real quick. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's the trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore You swore no. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> cool. Would you just clap? No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Yeah. 
me go holla at these people real quick. Fat Chocobo and the, uh, what's this say? Orchestrain. Strain. Forgive me if I said that wrong, but it is what it is. Don't judge me. Oh, <laughs> look the Moogle funny? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Plive. So it would seem. Mm. No. That sounds. I just beat one for you. Keep trying. But I said no. It's its fault. You tied it too tight. <laughs> Young had so many uses. And how might this old soul be of service? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Now this. I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Everything you needed? I just don't have enough teams to mm. No, Alexa. Alexa. Dinosaurs on YouTube. Healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the 
the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Goody man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. Ah, Clive, gradually getting used. I'm glad I was hoping you might be persuaded to come. I don't doubt it. We strive to be better. Now, as to the task itself. I am once again in need of a... I have three meals for three... I'd be happy to... Marv, the three... You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank Something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Oh, well, anyway. Thank.
Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild mickey berries. Can I help you? Can it send me? Ah, do you? Is he sick? <sighs> I turn. I would be lo. Come, you must eat if you're to recover. Really do with a proper place to train. Oi, back at it. He wasn't. <laughs> it's not you keep. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Is quite something. A fact you have. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth. Just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can leave whenever you're ready. What's the matter? It's my. I can't pee! All right. Marvelous! Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lost Quig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bear. Now go, and do not linger. Why? Someone's in trouble. Give them all you've got, boy. Get him. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do. There, boy. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Yeah! Sick of Togo! Uh. Uh. 
you hurt. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. Looking for you. I noticed that. But this soil's not... Then what if I gathered it for you? Just exactly what sort of dirt... What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark. Well... That seems... Un soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. <laughs> So uh. Glorious! But with this... Wait. Worried about me? But that's... That's all right. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. Although, I know it's... I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. Still. Lost you a good while. No scratches, all right. Best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you.
What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. I'll find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Off you go, then. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. <sighs> a sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Honestly, I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. Pick it up. But I'm here now. to you. We should press on.
That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look, fuse on this. Never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Here, you understand? These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And I was running late. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart unten. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Fine. That's the spirit. All right. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't... Here we are. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? Good girl. He's you get some us. rest now. It's with his master. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me. Not, not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Is that lavin full of Gizal greens, no doubt? Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, but you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares. You barely have to step out your front door. is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Pool, leave him in the park. Here we 
was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Back when we had... Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strappin lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A very blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. To East. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. There, boy. Sick of trouble. Over here. There, boy. Stay down. There, boy. Get a point. It's good. Thank you, my lady. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yeah? I am. I, I didn't realize... I'm a friend of Martha's. Well, I'm very grateful. I just finished checking these piles when I turned around... And... I see a gang of sl If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been... We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I, I best go and give my regards to the... Actually, 
She asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the... Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but well, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up. Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for our... I owe you my life. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? What? We were supposed to be in East Park yesterday. No. I hear the levees are due to go up again. Dinosaurs. You like that? Mosasaurus. You're not watching no monsters. Good, honest work. Ah, you're fine. We did. Oh, well, thank it was lucky we found him when we did. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. But anyway, I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to. We'd be delighted. I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. 
The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Where's the Abbey? What darkness awaits us within, I wonder? Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, 
Follow me. I never want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now that their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should.
Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, fresh cuts, these turnips. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Good, honest work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders and proper trade. Huh? The abbot had a message for Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born, the powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broke... And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be well. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Oh, 
Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Savior, just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So now then. to East Bull's mended by the sound of it. Where'd you think your feet have been the past one night? Alright, chat. To be continued. Thank y'all for tuning in.